There are 13 tutorials related to this, and in this course you are going to learn jQuery's CSS method. You have many tags in HTML. If you want to apply inline CSS on them, like here we have an H1 tag, and inside it I want to apply inline CSS. Somehow like I want to give the color green, or I want to apply some other properties, and that too from where does the J method come which we call CSS method, and let's see how we use it practically. But we have created a basic HTML document of our own, and look here there is a heading at the top, below it there is a subheading inside it, and a paragraph below it is a dummy paragraph, and below there is a button which on click I want it to be placed inline here. Look at this box, how will I place it? Look here this is our HTM. On this box I have targeted an ideal, meaning that on click of it I want to place CSS on the max box. Look at the inline CSS, how will I place it? First I write a script tag here, and write my BC customer code inside it. Document.ready is inside it. I create a function. Now inside it, I write the event of my button here, the style button. Click event. Let's see what I will do for it. First I put a dollar here, and here I create its selector. What is the name of our selector? The ID, and here I write the name of the event. Inside it, I create a function here, inside which I will code the next thing. Look here. Now as soon as I click, I want to set the background color on this drop. Look, its ID is box. Look, I create its selector. Here, I will use my method, whose name is CSS method. Inside it, we give two parameters. Basically, one is the name of the property and the other is its value. Look. Look, first I take the name of the property. Here is the property like background. I want to set the background color. You can also use background highlight color. Both are properties. Both are useful in using the background color. Now I will give the second parameter by giving a comma here. That means that in this, I want to give the color. See for example, I gave the red color here, and I will click here. See, the background color is set. So you saw how we can apply CSS. Now here is the second parameter. I want to add more CSS properties to it like I want to add a border, I want to give a separate color to the text, what will I do for this? Here if you give a value directly inside the simple round prices, then you can give only one value, and if you want to give more than one value, then you can put the round here and press the buttons inside it. I will show you by looking at it, see like I had just given the background color, but here now you will not put a comma, you will take the name of the property, then put a colon, after that you will give its value something like this, I will save it again and show it, see if it is still working, I will show you by right clicking see here.
You have inline style, but as soon as I refresh the page, then see nothing is showing on this box ID. But when I click on the button, then see inline CSS is applied here. If I want to give another value in it, then I can give it. To give another value, I have to give it something like this. After that, I want to color it again. Here, I want to make its color red. I will give its value by putting a colon again and giving the inverted code. So see the value is like red I saved the file, and see here as soon as I clicked, then see here inline style is applied first background color, and then color up you see above. If I want to set a border here first see there is already a border, but if I want to replace it then see that will also be done here. I will go to the last here, and again give a comma inside the curly braces, and after that I will take the name of the property by giving inverted course like applying border color, and I will give its values here. I have made it a little bit tired, so that you can see it comfortably. I saved the file and see how I clicked on it, and the border too. So you saw how we can apply inline CSS here with the help of jQuery, using only this CSS method. In the next video, I will teach you this method by using which you can use multiple events on the same object. So don't forget to watch that video. Thanks watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe.